So I still pretty often get the question, Michael, why don't you use a tripod to photograph live insects? And I never really understood this question. Like, it feels like the people who suggest this have never ever tried to do live insect photography with a tripod, or I mean, they couldn't have, right? But let me answer that question here and now by taking a photo of an insect with a tripod. And it might not be a live insect, but it's the best we can do now when it's winter in Sweden. This is George. And um, yeah, he's sitting here. We can imagine that he's sitting outdoors on a leaf. And um, I'm out with my camera and my tripod, of course, looking for insects to photograph. And I walk by and whoa, a small, beautiful bug. Let's photograph it. And I'm gonna try to be as fast here as humanly possible because time is of the essence when we're photographing live insects. Usually they jump away or fly away within a few seconds. So we really need to be fast here and lucky as well, I would guess. Okay, maybe something like this. And let's set up the camera on the tripod. Okay, whoops, this is the wrong height. I need to uh, make the legs a bit shorter, I think. Something like this, maybe. Oops, now it's too short. Okay, let's, um, let's try the pillar in the middle here. Okay, now we're getting closer. Uh. Something like that, okay. But now I'm not really the getting the, the magnification I want. I need to move closer, I think. Okay. Sit still, George. Sit still. And there we have a photo. Although maybe not exactly the angle I had wanted because yeah, it's kind of hard to, to uh, angle your camera when you're in a rush, when you're in a hurry to photograph an insect. Uh, but I still got a shot and of course it was pretty easy to focus. But what we tend to forget is that if this would have been a real situation outdoors with an insect, they almost always sit on something that moves with the wind, usually a leaf or a straw of grass or something. So then it would actually have been impossible with a tripod, even if I had had the time to fully extend it and set the focus and everything. Um, the leaf would <laughs> be moving like this anyway, so it would be uh, very, very hard to use a tripod. Instead, uh, what I like to do, as you all know, is just to use freehand and then I can very easily adjust exactly what angle I want and since I'm using a flash I can freeze the action and uh, yeah it's really simple and that I guess is my answer to the question that comes again and again of why I'm not using a tripod when I'm doing macro photography thank you for watching see you soon again in another macro photography video